So in this Starfield video, I will showcase to you 7 plus ship glitches, exploits, tips and tricks you need to know in regards to ship building, ranking up skills associated with them and more. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So ships are a massive part of Starfield and there is a ton of things to do related to them. Buying them, selling them, stealing them, building them, upgrading and even combat with them. It's clear there's loads to learn. Well today guys I bring you 7 plus tips and tricks, glitches, exploits and things you need to know. Okay so we will start with the ship duplication glitch. Yes. What this does, it allows you to duplicate any ship you have. The only negative to this is it overwrites your next in line ship. But this can be used to duplicate a ship you created if you want to branch off from said ship and try something else with it but keep the original. You can use this to sell expensive ships to make tons of money. I mean there's lots of things you can do with this. So to do this, come to any ship service technician. And I definitely recommend you creating a manual save before you do this. So speak to the ship tech and go into your ship modifier. Here you will see me do this with a couple of ships. So firstly the scorpion I made. I will make a tutorial on this by the way if you guys are interested in it. So stay tuned by subbing for that if you haven't subbed already. So to do this it's really straightforward. On PC though you must use a controller as I do not think this works with mouse and keyboard. Now remember, duping a ship will overwrite another ship you have. So if I only have one, go steal or buy another one. And it will overwrite the next in line. So as you can see here, next in line to my scorpion is the frontier. Duping my scorpion will overwrite my frontier and give me two scorpions. So to do this guys, hover above the ship you want to duplicate and simply press the ship build button and the tab across to the next ship button at the same time. For me on Xbox that would be X and RB, right bumper. Once you do this and if time correctly and it worked, simply remove, add or change anything on said ship. What this does is, uh, once you save it, it confirms the new ship and there you'll have it, you have two of the exact same ship. It really is that easy guys. Here again I will do it with my razor leaf. Hover above it, press X and that right bumper at the same time. Then edit the ship in any way you want and simply save it. And there you have it, duped. Now if you somehow mess this up, remember you create that save. Well should have. But yeah guys, this is how you duplicate ships in Starfield. Okay so next up guys I bring you another glitch which you can use to stack weapons in the same spot on your ship. What this means is you can realistically have as many weapons as the game lets you in the same spot on your ship. So if you have limited port spots to stack weapons on, this one is definitely for you. Okay, so how this works is actually quite simple. Again, if I were you, create a manual save before attempting this. Okay, so I'll demonstrate you this briefly on my Scorpion. So go into that ship editor at any ship technician, hover above said weapon you want to stack in that same place and again this has to be done on controller as I don't believe it works on mouse and keyboard. So hovering above said weapon, simply press the duplicate button and edit button at the same time. You have to do this twice. For me that is A and Y. So press these both together twice fast. So A and Y together and then A and Y together again. If you do this right, which can be a little tricky, you will notice it working because the weapon damage in the bottom left will go up along with the ship's mass. And well, I guess you could abuse this until you get errors which you can't fix. For me, it doesn't really help as on my Scorpion, which right now is my primary ship. I have countless spots I can slot weapons to. But if you are limited and only want weapons in a certain place on your ship due to its design, then hey, this one's for you. Keep in mind you are applying weapons here, even if it is in the same place, so it will cost you uh, that credit and that mass if you finalise it. But it also means you can do way more damage than normal without affecting your ship design wise. Pretty cool. 
Okay, so next up guys, we have an amazing glitch which allows you to apply parts to your ship that you haven't got unlocked yet. This means if you haven't got ranks into that starship design and you are limited in what you can add to your ship, this glitch completely skips that. It makes that starship design rank completely void. You really just don't need it. Also guys, if you come to New Atlantis on Jameson upon the Alpha Century Galaxy, you can do all of this for free and I will show you how you can get those credits back you spend. Also, I know equipping some items in the ship editor will require you to have that pilot in skill ranked up to A4, while well, there's a trick to this too, which I'll explain after. So at the new Atlantis ship technician, this is how this glitch is done. Okay, so to do this guys, find yourself a ship services technician that don't have to be on this planet, or if you want your money back, come to this planet. Okay, so skip his uh, dialogue and come down to this here. I like to view and modify my ships. Okay, no problem. From here guys, pick on any ship you want to upgrade. Don't matter what it is, pick on it. Uh, I'm just going to go with my beautiful stronghold. Click on X on the console, it's going to be ship builder. And here we have it guys. Now if we pick an empty spot, this is exactly how this works. Just go to an empty spot, press A to add a spot. Now if you come down here guys, actually we'll go to something a bit bigger. Let's say uh what we got what we got engines why not okay so engines as you can see at the very bottom there are three i haven't got unlocked yet these as you can see bottom left are tied to starship design rank four but i can actually apply these to my ship easy so what you do is find this spot real close to your ship so you see the cursor in the center of your screen you want this real close to your ship now obviously you can still see it says add right down there but if it goes to edit it ain't working you need to find a place as close to your ship where it still says add now can you use camera angles to do this it doesn't matter i'm just going to go into this gap here still says add now if i press a now you can see that everything i try and well put on my ship is highlighted in red this is what you need if it isn't highlighted in red this will not work that's why you need to be right next to your ship Okay, so now obviously I've still got these three things I cannot apply. I haven't got them locked. But say if I go to any other thing that I have got unlocked and I click on it, like that, and I press down on my D-pad, I can scroll to the very bottom for the items that I haven't unlocked. And then guys, I can just fasten them in place. And there you go. It really is that simple. It's that simple. Uh, I can do this for anything, I can do it for weapons, I can do it for whatever. So if I go into another space, like that, where it says add, press A. Let's go to, let's see what we've got, let's go to our weapons. I think I've gone the wrong way here, but if I come to the very bottom, there's a few that I haven't got on yet. Just like so. In fact, I may just delete that, just so I can put it there, get rid of that. Okay, so I've gone back to a space right by your ship. I mean, you can, you can be really close to your ship, but if you do have gaps, we can get your cursor in where it still says add, but on right, it's even better. So if we come to weapons, you can see here, um, right now, so look, if I go to, let's say, these I haven't got, this is what I want to put on. So if I go to one I have got unlocked, click A, it's red, then press down on my D-pad, scroll to the very bottom, I now have it, and I can apply it to my ship, wherever I want to put it. There you go. I have it. Simple as that. And this works with absolutely anything. Cargo, it works with shields, it works with landing, it, it works with everything, guys. It is really that easy. And then, guys, you just simply back out and apply them, and there you have it. Don't worry about that now, because obviously I know what that is, but don't worry about that. It can resolve. If, you don't, if you've got issues or errors, um, just simply press your, well for me it's start, and it tells me there, ship has more than three different uh, weapons, blah blah blah, ship is using too much power engine, yeah that doesn't matter, obviously guys you, you'll obviously delete the engines when you're putting these ones on that you haven't got unlocked, same with your weapons, don't worry about that, but yes, so you'd obviously finalise it, now once you finalised it, it would take your credits, and to get your credits back guys, this is what you've got to do, so you want to come down here, now this is a well known, exploit but just in case you don't know come down this ramp and you want to glitch through this wall now if you don't know how this works is you can glitch through the wall right here 
So what you need is a melee weapon. Any melee weapon will do, axe, knife, sword, whatever. Then you want to go into third person. Now when you're in third person, with that melee weapon in your hand, if you run, jump and press block, you teleport forward just like that. What you want to do is run towards this wall, jump, and you want to land more or less on this line, facing that wall. And you should teleport straight through. Now you can do it multiple different ways. You can stand on the spot and do it. Like, well, I'll showcase it to you. You have to be good at it. You can do it that way. You can stand here, teleport backwards and do it. I mean, it's a bit fiddly. But at the end of the day, if you spend a lot of money, you want your credits back. And then you can run from afar and do it. It's what some people do as well. I was actually finding this easiest jump, try and land there and teleport through. But you need to go on that point of the wall. And well, once you're in, you'll end up right here, guys. Then, guys, you simply just jump up here. Now, I have seen people say that this is being fixed. I'm doing this currently the 20th of September. It still works perfectly fine. Then, guys, the credits will be here. So anything you spend will be here along with his 72,000 credits. Simple as that, people. Now, in regards to the piloting skill, what you want to do, guys, is come to, again, uh, James and the planet. Come to your star map if you're not here already. Again, New Atlantis. You want to select the planet of Jameson, which is where we're at. And you want to go to, guys, the lodge area right here. Okay, so from here, guys, you want to turn back around on yourself and you want to run in this direction. This is by far the fastest way to level up that pilot into a rank 4. Take you like 30 minutes tops. So you want to go into this area right here. You can see where we're running towards. Go back into first person now. Put my weapon away. Okay, so run up these stairs, guys. And what you need to do, guys, is if you haven't already, speak to this guy right here. Once you speak to this guy and you start off his quest, he sends you to basically what is like a museum, I can't really remember. And you simply just press a few buttons and learn about the past of the Vanguard and the UC. And then guys, you go straight to the flight simulator, which you'll see in a quick second. Now, once you've got to the flight simulator and you've done that part of the mission, it's quite easy. It takes about five minutes. You then have full access to go and use this flight simulator whenever you want. And to do this guys, you simply come to this, uh, this elevator Click a floor, and you can see right at the very bottom we've got a Vanguard Pilot Simulator. It really is this simple. So in here guys, you simply just go in here, enter the uh, simulation, and then you can just sit down and take out multiple ships, wave after wave, and just completing this actual process, just starting it, restarting it, doing it as much as you want because when you, your ship gets uh, destroyed in this simulator it doesn't affect you at all and you can just do this over and over and every ship you take out within this simulator guys counts towards that pilot in rank so yes use that until you get to a rank 4 it should take you about half an hour or less okay so next up and if you guys ain't at a stage of wanting to build your own ship yet you want to hold out and enjoy the rest of the game before you do this but you do want a ship which offers a lot of what you'd want from one well guys, there is a ship you can purchase in this game which will do this job you are after. For me, this ship was called the Stronghold. This did everything I needed a ship to do. Now there are other ships you can purchase which will offer similarities, but for me, the Stronghold is probably the best. Now this ship is available for you to purchase at more or less any time, but it does cost a pretty penny. I think it's close to 350 credits depending on your skills unlocked. Now you can earn this amount of credits in about 5 minutes if you use my chest exploit, which I will link in the video description. But hey, once you do have enough credits, however you've earned them, you want to head to that Cheyenne uh, galaxy, that system, and then to Aquila City which is upon Aquila. Once you are here guys, head to that ship services technician where here he normally sells this ship. It's a big piece of kit and again, in my opinion, there really isn't anything else you will need until it comes to building your own. Now if you come here and he hasn't got the stronghold for sale, find and park your ass for 48 hours and it resets his stock. Eventually guys, he will have this ship for sale for you. Anything I can help you with? 
Hey, what can I do for you? I'm sure you can find something you like. Now there is a way to basically rotate ships you buy literally every 20 seconds and there can be some incredible ships here for you to buy. This means you can simply just keep resetting ships you purchase over and over until you get one you've seen somewhere else or if you're looking for a particular design or one with certain stats you can do this. So find yourself a planet, any planet doesn't really matter but you want to quickly build an outpost. Once you have that outpost done, you can then simply build a landing pad with ship builder. Once you have done this guys, you can then go to that terminal on that landing pad and see what ships are for sale here. If there isn't one here that you like, simply destroy the landing pad, getting all those materials back used to craft it and simply guys craft another on the same spot. Here when you go back to that terminal, the ships for sale will have rotated. This means you can do this until you find that perfect ship for you. Now another trick you can use with a landing pad and ship builder uh, that you have built at an outpost is the ship builder itself. These are by far the best places to actually build your very own ship because they hold 99% of the stock you can find within this game to build them. If you go to a certain ship services technician, let's say on New Atlantis, they are missing a lot of other manufacturer parts where you'd have to go to them direct to use their parts. This means to finalize and save your ship if you started creating it on New Atlantis but you wanted to add other parts to it, you'd have to use placeholder items which will cost you uh, to save it and then go to another manufacturer. If you use it on your very own outpost with that ship builder there, most of these parts, 99% of these parts are ready and right there for you to use on your ship builder. So yes guys, keep that in mind when it comes to building your very own ship. Now building a ship on a outpost landing pad means like I said you have 99% access to all the parts in one place. Now I say 99% uh, of these parts because there are still certain ship vendors you can find across the galaxies that sell exclusive stuff. There are 6 I believe in total, there may be more, if I've missed one please let me know down below within that comment section but I will showcase these to you today. Okay, so first up we have the Deimos. If you come to So and then onto the Deimos Star Yard Space Station, duck on, make your way downstairs as I do on screen now, your ship vendor will have indeed exclusive parts not found anywhere else. ship can hold a candle to a dame. What do we have here? A civilian. Daimos prides itself on being the UC's first, but we're more than happy to protect and arm bold entrepreneurs that do their business among us. Anyone that flies in... Heck. So... Right away. The second vendor I found behold some real nice unique bits too, Nova Galactic parts. So install again, go to Titan and land on New Homestead. The ship services tech here will offer exclusive stuff. So the third vendor to check out sales, hope check exclusive bits. 
So come to Velo, then onto Polvo, land at Hope Town, and come to this ship services technician. So the fourth vendor to check out sells exclusive Stroud Eklund gear. So come to Narion and then onto that Stroud Eklund Star Yard and come to this vendor for these goodies. So new here. Pleasure to meet you. We may be new, but thank you. So, what's let's get you set up. The fifth vendor sells Teo exclusive parts. So here guys, you wanna to come to the Volai system, then onto Volai Alpha, land in at that Neon, and follow this path to the ship vendor who sells those exclusive Teo parts. No ships better in the settled systems. And the transfer is complete, Miss Dazel. Good to make that happen. Take a look at our catalog, and I just know you'll change your mind. Are you ready to make the Excellent. We have the final. And lastly guys, we have the pirate ship vendor who sells good shiz like scan blockers and cargo shields to hide contraband. So for this vendor guys, come to the Parima system, then onto Parima 3 and land in at the red mile. Follow this path to the ship vendor guys for all these awesome parts.
What do you want? Then knock yourself out. And there we have it guys, the end of the video has arrived. 7 plus tips, tricks, glitches and exploits in regards to ships for Starfield. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.